Marcel's Wiley up here with Emmanuel Acho. Sometimes I can admit, except defeat. I like that suit better. I appreciate it, I bro. I do like it better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, playing guacamole day. Let's head to the NFC East for our big story. The Cowboys and the Eagles have a big matchup on Sunday night. Dallas is coming off a blowout loss to Washington, and Andy Dalton is dealing with a concussion. While in Philly, Carson Wentz led the Eagles to a comeback win over the Giants. Both teams have been disappointing. Only two wins apiece, but Philly is on top in the division. So, Acho, which team has more to prove Sunday? Cowboys or your uh, uh. Eagles? My dog, oh. I wish I was wearing the green because the Eagles got more to prove. Oh. Let me lend you the blue. I, everybody knows I played for the Eagles, blah, blah, blah. So, yep. But I always have to okay. keep it 100 and honest with y'all. The do. view of y'all is family. Please the do. Eagles have more to prove because the Eagles are still playing for something. Mm. Let me keep it real with you, Marcellus. <laughs> huh? We already know. In huh? Dallas, y'all know what time it is. What time? They is know it? what time it is. How many, it's imploding. How many wins? It's implosion how many wins? time. How many wins? How many wins? How many wins? We've said this before. Don't talk to me about how many wins. You and I can wear what? the same suit, and I'm going to make it look better. Shut okay? your trap. <laughs> okay? The Cowboys <laughs> and win. Eagles are going to have the same amount of wins, but the Eagles right now are making it look better. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. What I'm also going to say is this. Mm. The jury is still out on the Eagles. What do I mean? They have a loss to the Steelers, the undefeated Steelers. Oh. They have a loss to the Ravens, <laughs> the one-loss Ravens, and the Ravens only lost us to the Chiefs. Oh. They have a loss to the Rams, oh. the Rams who look like a top-five team in the NFL. Outside of the Eagles' week one loss, I'm TBD. They go on the road, beat the 49ers, one of the best head coaches in the NFL. Obviously, Jimmy G was out. And then they beat the Giants. It wasn't a pretty win, but it was a short week. I'm undecided, Marcellus, on the Eagles. Do y'all suck? Or are y'all just bad? Or are y'all, like, run of the mill? Are y'all, like, the 15th mm. or 16th best team in the league? Mm. I think the jury is still out. To me, the Eagles are an enigma. They don't make it look pretty, but if we're keeping it 100, they lost to the Steelers. Everybody's lost to the Steelers. <laughs> yeah, Everybody's lost to the Ravens, except the Chiefs. The teams that the Eagles have lost to outside of week one, Washington football team, everybody's lost to. So the Eagles have more pressure because if the Eagles lose to the Cowboys, Marcellus, they're not an enigma anymore. Like, they're just bad. I can sit here and try to defend them all I want. I can give you my, my bias Eagles takes. It, I can it, sit we here just try to one. defend you. At one. We're here. But it. if you lose to the Cowboys, I think the jury is now, it's decided. Right now, mm. jury is still in deliberation. Yeah. Uh, Eagles, we don't know. I'm mm. still trying to figure it out. Mm. Cowboys, the jury's out. Like, as much as I want the Cowboys to be great because it makes for better TV, the jury is decided. Cowboys, you all are bad. Y'all have told us you're bad. Jerry Jones has said there's beef. Your players are saying there's beef. Your defensive coordinators are saying y'all can't play high school cover three. Cowboys, we know the decision. The Eagles, we're still trying to figure it out. No, I disagree with you right there. And you're talking about biased Eagles takes. It, it, it seems like you don't want to answer the question. Who has more to prove? It's the Dallas Cowboys because the sky is falling on them. They're coming off an epic loss. You have more to prove because you have more to gain in equity. And you could be in first place in this division despite all hell landing on your head this entire season. Think about it. The Philadelphia Eagles are coming off a win. People like you are starting to glow about them. Oh, look at the Philadelphia Eagles. They're looking good. How do you have more to prove or more to gain in this situation versus a team that we're so hypercritical about that no matter what they do, we're going to try and find something ugly about it? And this year, we don't even have to look for it. It is appearing in broad daylight. Where's their quarterback? Where's their running back? At least a shell of himself. Where's Zeke? Where's the offensive line on their 10th combination this year already? They have 11 guys on IR. Come on, where's the defense? Your NFL historically bad right now. Where's your backup quarterback? He got knocked out last week and the team didn't fight for him. I'm gonna take this back to how I grew up. And when you're walking around the neighborhood, you know, the, the, the gangs, the drugs, the poverty wasn't the worst about it. The, the, it those weren't the worst elements. You know what it was? The low ambition. Mm. People aiming lower than they should just because they already been beat up by circumstances. And I remember saying to myself, bruh, you can't let the exterior defeat you on the inside. And I looked at my situation and said, it can't get much worse. I'm on food stamps, I'm on welfare. People are always walking up to you with their low expectations mm -hmm. of themselves, and they're projecting it on you. And I'm like, you know what? If it can't get any worse, I'm not scared to go out there and see how I can make it happen. This is the Dallas Cowboys this year. It can't get worse. And even if it does get worse, 
Guess what? You're not scared of it anymore because you already felt the weight of the whole world on you. Marcellus, I respect that. I respect you better that respect take. it because I got here I'm that not way. mad at it, bro, <laughs> okay. but I'm going to say this. Stop. You've recently admitted to the world, and in your book you said this before, you're not a fighter. No, I, hell no. Nah. Eric Reed, chill. Not, not a fighter. It, not I'm not a fighter you. either, but I have a reason, a quote, a line in which I'm not a fighter. A coach once told me early on, he, he told me this quote, and he said, he said, if I fight you and I win, what do I win? Mm. See, the reason I'm not a fighter is because if I fight you and I win, what do I win? Mm. I do things that make sense. And typically, fights often, more often than not, don't make sense. If the Cowboys play the Eagles and they win, what do they win? Okay, you beat a team who what? people are still like, oh, y'all aren't very good. The Cowboys, even if they play the Eagles and win, Marcellus, they prove nothing. It doesn't mean that they're going to be uh, 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 contenders. It doesn't mean that they're all of a sudden they're going to cure all of their gigantic losses. It doesn't mean that their defense is better. It doesn't mean that they now have leadership in the locker room. Even if the Cowboys go out there and win. Sure, I believe at that point in time they should be first place in the division depending on what the Washington football team does. Right. But... If they play the Eagles and they win, it's mm. still almost like, what do they win? Eagles play the Cowboys mm. and win. At a minimum, the debate is over. Like, ah, Cowboys and Eagles. The Cowboys are just one game back or half a game back. That's over. Now you put that to best. If you're the Eagles, you can put that debate to bed. The mm. Cowboys are the third worst team in the division if the Eagles play them and win. If the Eagles also go out there and win, like the Eagles just have more on the line. More on the line? Come on, Otto. You tell it on yourself I'm right not. now. Cowboys you really are. Play for it. Look at, yes, they do. They can win the division. Oh. And if you win the division, you're in the playoffs. They can by happenstance only. No, no, hold on, but that's all that matters, man. I'm going to take you back to my take neighborhood. Take me back, homeboy. bro. Take me back. Hey, before anything, let's survive and then thrive. You over here speaking from a luxurious experience, it sounds like, where it's like, ah. Eh. And what I tell you about luxury, it's the house of complaints. Because <laughs> when you don't need it, when you don't feel that, what the Cowboys are feeling, that desperation, you sit there and say, well, why even try? Because even if we try and win a division, what are we going to end up doing? That is happening between your ears, and that's never happened in between my ears. Don't mistake that when I say I'm not a fighter, because I don't use these two hands, that I don't use what's between these two ears. This is what I fight with, big dog. I will manipulate with you, manipulate you with my words, and then my feet, because I'm running. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I fight. I fight with between here, and I fight with those two dogs taking off. But the Cowboys are in a situation where it's raining. It's pouring. Yeah. And guess what? If that hasn't drowned us just yet, then why not? Why not us? It sounds like the boxing corner man who's like, hey, man, you took his best punch. Now let's go out there. Sometimes you have to get into battle, take the best punches from the universe and the collective teams. And if you're still standing, let's go to war. Marcellus, you are the reason that I drive down the highways in Texas and you look up at the billboards and you see Mega Million now up to $950 <laughs> million dollars for the lotto. Because, Marcellus, you continue to say, I'm well, yeah, I might be able to win. I'm sure, if I buy a lotto ticket, there's a chance yes. that I can win. There's yes. a chance. Are the likelihood's possible? No, there's just a no, chance. No. And that's my point is mm. all Cowboys fans have come with this reality because I've had to come with this reality. And what? I'm not a Cowboys fan per se, but I'm a, I have affinity towards the Cowboys. I've come to this reality, which is there's no saving the season right now. Your, course, your starting quarterback is currently your backup quarterback, and he's currently hurt. Your offensive line is in shambles. Your head coach, they don't respect him. Your defensive coordinator shouldn't be in the NFL. Your owner is now calling everybody else out and saying, okay. I'm not the one to blame. Okay. Your players in the locker room are snitching. Okay. The Cowboys fans at this point, they realize, like, this season is kind of a wash. Play for pride, if you will, but mm. you really ain't playing for nothing besides that. Yeah, okay. If I want to buy into what you're selling right now, let me say this. There's a difference between a season and a program, a winning culture that you're trying to build with a new head coach and Mike McCarthy. Let's just say this is a losing season. I disagree with it, but let's just say that to have some fun. I told you before, Pittsburgh was 2-4 and four last year. Mm -hmm. Tampa was 2-4 and four last year. And Pittsburgh lost his quarterback, and Tampa changes his quarterback this year. And all of a sudden, they find themselves as Super Bowl contenders. So if you're the Dallas Cowboys, don't jump ship. Fight through this because you can start to establish a winning culture. Just in one year time, we've seen the Pittsburgh Steelers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers go from rags to riches. Both Why? got Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Hey, hey, look, Dak Prescott, I'm not going to Hall of Fame. I'm saying Dak Prescott was balling at historical numbers pace. 
Just have some perseverance through this season, and maybe it will blossom next season. Coming up, Trevor Lawrence is leaving the door open on staying in school. We'll tell you what this means for the Jets. Jets, V, T, S, next, next, next. Speak for yourself, presented by 